Hello! Welcome to the Intoxicated Flamingo. I am your host, Jen. So, tonight, this is the first official craft of the year, and uh, it's been a day. So, what I am doing today is purlers. And if you've never played with purlers before, they can actually be quite fun. I have done these before, so I have a slight idea of what I'm doing. Um, this has just been a, a, a catastrophe. So I got this kit, and I got this over at Joann's. And it came with all these things. But what I really liked about it is the little treasure chest. And some of these, they're, they're like raised up and three-dimensional. They had some others that were smithsonian so it was dinosaurs or lions but they had trees standing up and they were a little thicker excuse me and i really wanted those ones but not having done a three-dimensional one before i thought it'd probably be best if i start out with something simple this is um not bad you know usually when i get cross stitching kits or diamond dots, those usually come, usually, uh, the diamond dots do come pre-sorted. These did not. I got two bags of these. You do see before you, this took me, this took me almost two hours just to sort these out. And these are the ones I need, but I had to make sure I was gonna have enough, so. But I should just need these ones. Yeah, I know. I'm, and I, I really, okay, I did a shot, but that's about it. So as you can see, my shirt says squirrel. So this idea came about with my last uh, Burp Taj, the one before, the one that I did during the holidays, okay, because I do <laughs> squirrel. I get distracted a lot. So I thought it would be funny to have a t-shirt that says squirrel. And then I was explaining to Pebbles, you know, if I'm wearing this out and about while I'm shopping and somebody reads it out loud, I can respond with where? So far that has not happened, but I really haven't ventured out all that much. This mug, so I used a frosting cream, etching. It's an etching cream to make it look frosted. And it's very, <clears throat> very faded. And uh, when I add liquid to it, it does not make it appear any better. But if you can see on there, it says, anyways, I don't know why it just came to me. So, but I've got, I've got my buzz balls. I, I do like the, this is a lot of colada. Make a mess, make a mess. Yeah, so you can't. You can't see it any better. And it's driving me nuts. So this this idea came about. Pebbles and I were out and about. And I saw basically a gingerbread house made out of these things. So if you've never played with these things, they, they can be fun. You can do all kinds of things. And I'm still, there's one curve. Uh, they're just little plastic circles. Okay. And then they're going to go on here. And then you're going to take, it came with parchment paper. Do not use wax paper. This much I do know. And I know why. Because the wax paper will stick to your beads. So that was a whole fiasco. And this was a few years back when I was playing with them. Now, what I have here, what I have here, these are just, they're called purlers. They're just little uh, plastic. I mean, you can probably see them down there a little better. Plastic beads. And then you're going to lay the, the parchment paper over them. And then you're going to take your handy iron. <laughs> yes. And you're going to melt them together. But not so much that they become look like solid squares. You just want enough so that they stick. And then you peel them off and, and you can do whatever with. So... Uh, but Pebbles, the, the one that I saw, it looked like it was an Easter cottage. And it was like a gingerbread house, but made out of these things. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I should do that as a craft. Well, it was almost $30 for that kit. This one was $16, so we went with this one. 
because if I'm going to screw up, I don't want to do it massive. Let's let's start little first. We can do massive next time. So depending on how this goes, later on, we're going to try the little bunny house. So these are normal size, but knowing me, <laughs> I love the challenge. This is for your regular beads to go on. A little bumps you set your beads on there and stuff. This one's for the minis. Okay, you do see the difference in size. They are so tiny. And right now I use these little, um, they're not pliers, Jen. Oh my gosh, I told you it's been a long day. Um, tweezers, I use these tweezers to pick them up. The other ones for the mini purlers, it's about this long, looks like a, um, looks like tweezers. It's not curved like these ones, it's straight and they're pointy. I mean, you would just stab people with it. And, and you have to pick them up from the inside of it because they're so tiny. Uh, so, but we're not doing those tonight. I went ahead and got out my extra. So this one came with, and this also came with, because there are different shapes, and it lets you know which different shapes, because they lay out differently. So I have one that's a heart. I have another one like this that's for the big ones. And what's nice, you can, ow, you can interlock these. They have bigger ones that you can do. Uh, they're huge that you can do like a whole portrait kind of thing. It's really cool. Make frames of all kinds of stuff. But this one, where is it? Okay, my instructions. Uh, this was like Legos. This was insane. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be a necklace or what. Um, I can make things to go inside my treasure chest once I get it made. There's different little fish. And then, where is the other one? Oh, this one. Okay, so they had, but yeah, they've got these. Now, I didn't get sticks. I didn't get sticks. I didn't get any sticks. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> They're not sticks. They're showing that where this is the spaces that they hook into. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start, aren't we? <clears throat> anyway. Oh my god, that's funny. I thought those were sticks. Yeah, they don't even show sticks on there. It's okay, Jen. So, we're going to move all these, and I do not have a problem. These are all for other crafts, but I didn't. It's the only thing I could think of to put these guys in, but I needed these colors. So, let's see. I don't know when I go to do this, how exactly. Oh, okay, so I will need this one. We're going to do this one and I'm just gonna start like as close to the edge ah, as possible and I have tried picking these things up with just my fingers one two three four five six seven yeah this is a lot like Legos and that's it's just not gonna happen so I was gonna share that while on you know, while on holiday, one, two, three, four, five. I learned something new about myself, and I thought I would share it because it really, <clears throat> it really does explain, I think, a lot about me, and it's something I really wish I would have known when I was much younger. But whatever, we know now. I am aware, and I can look back and be like, oh, okay, all right, skip three and do four, one, two, three, four. Um, so, and it's funny too, so I watch a ton of TikTok. I thank you, I've got a lot of you guys thinking I should do a TikTok. I probably will not. Um, I have my reasonings for it, I have done some research on it, and as most of you, if you see my channel and you watch other channels, there's a lot of things I don't have on mine because I still haven't figured it out. I'm still 
it's been over a year, slightly over a year, and I'm still trying to figure figure this stuff out. So I figured it probably best, but I have done some research on it, and for the time being, I will not be doing any tiki talk. But I love watching it; it cracks me up. But I was also watching some other things, and I'm as I'm watching them, I'm like. They're talking about, I do this, I do that, and I'm like, hey, I do this, I do that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was ADHD. And I, I was curious about it, so then I actually Googled things and started looking into it. And come to find out, I check off every single box. Every single one. And it is tempting to go to a doctor and get officially diagnosed, but... They're going to give me a prescription, which is going to change how I think, which will change how I come up with my ideas, and I'm not ready to do that. So, But I'll do things I understand. I do interrupt all the time. I have my kids get mad at me. I have other people, friends. You share a story. I'm going to have one that, oh my gosh, that happened to me in a way, and I'll have to share my story. I can't just, it's hard for me to sit back and not share um, it's hard for me not to interrupt, and I try. I, I know that I do it, and I've been doing it for years. Um, stories. My stories are all over the damn place. But what is interesting is there is a couple of things I don't do. So apparently most ADHD people are late, and they don't respond to text. I respond to text. Most of you who messaged me at least within a day or so. I have messaged you back. Uh, if a friend texts me, depending on what it's about, I will text them back right away. But I'd, I've never gone days and not responded. Now, initiating a text that I cannot do, I um, it's, it's hard for me. I will think about it. Calling somebody out of the blue, I will think about, oh, I should call my folks. I should call my dad. I haven't talked to him since Christmas. I should give him a call. His birthday was a week or two ago. Um, I still haven't called him. Sorry, Dad. I love you. I really do. <laughs> Just apparently it's out of sight, out of mind. Uh, and that goes with a lot of my friends, too. And running late, I, I never run late. But <laughs> I can never leave. It's the leaving part I have problems with. Oh no, my daughter would be with me and she's like, you guys have said goodbye five times. It's time to leave. Don't say nothing, just leave. Sorry, hon. So if I tell my husband, uh, oh my, I am, I'm moving stuff around. And, you know, if I tell my husband, oh yeah, I'm gonna go over and visit so-and-so, I'll just be there for, you know, an hour. He knows better. He knows that's not true. But I, I find it interesting. I can look back on my childhood. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. And I thought, you know, I, I'm always trying to predict what people are going to say. And I've already, I've already talked to my dad about it. I, for a long time, actually my entire life, I've blamed my dad. Because my dad is a slow talker. And it's, it's um, he's, he's thinking. He's very purposeful when he speaks and so he's just making sure he's got the right words and you don't know how many times I have been on the phone with the man and it's like are you still there because I haven't heard anything in a while and I'm worried the, the call got dropped or something but I always pictured ADHD people as like super hyper unable to sit still you know so I, I figured yeah oh, no I'm fine I'm normal I am not, apparently. But it's it's nice. So that's always going through my brain now is to okay, I, I understand some things are just beyond my capacity. My 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 brain's not allowing me to do certain things. And when I get hyper focused, I was hyper focused today. I got I got a lot of stuff done today. It was nice when I can just focus in. But I can't do that all the time. Okay, these, oh, oh, okay, I know I'm mixing them in, but, you know, it's, it's cool, it's cool. 
And my husband gets so mad at me because my stories meander all over the freaking place. Sorry. But somebody did a, a visual image of what an ADHD brain looks like. I find it fascinating. It, and, and it was like it was a drawing or something of what somebody, you know, how they think. And it, they even said it's either going to mortify you. And, and basically it's like my brain. Dr. Seuss, Tim Burton. Mix them up. They're, they're artistic styles. That's me. Okay, so I can skip that. Yeah, I can skip that row. Oh my goodness. Um, I might, since this is taking a while. Ah, get in there. This is even harder with the minis. It is. See, you went sideways. Don't go sideways. Don't go. Yeah! There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'll still go ahead and do the rest on camera, but I may speed through it. Or, yeah, I'm not going to speed through it. I will speed it up on camera. This is cute and adorable. So there is a slot here, not there and there. Okay, so I leave that open. The, um, apparently, I'm going to have a seashell that I'm going to put on this one that will fit in that hole. <coughs> Mm. Ah! Get in there. Alright. Okay, these ones. I need some more. I just want to get this one done so I can show you guys. You know, the little. I wouldn't really say impaired, but. Damn it. You turn this way. Thank you. Um, ah, maybe I did need those other tweezers. I don't know where they are. <sighs> that was fine. Whew. And you know, that, that helps. A lot. Um, I put two. <laughs> I've already lost a couple of these across the room. Okay, so that I've got. Okay, so I've got. I'm done with my curlers now. So now we need to melt them real quick. Um, do they burn hazard? Yes. <laughs> um. That iron on medium setting. Oh, I've got it like on hot, hot because I mess with cottons all the time. Okay, we'll do polyester stuff. Ooh, acrylic. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so turn that down. Have, have an adult finish your project by fusing the beads with an iron. Set on medium setting, placing the ironing paper. It's parchment paper over the pegboard and in a circular motion iron project then let cool remove paper and bead design from pegboard flip design over to expose the non-fused side repeat step two beads need to heat for about 10 to 20 seconds per size depending on the size okay got it okay so can i do this without my i have a strip cord down there that's okay so one two 1920. Ah. See pebbles, you were worried I was gonna burn myself. Okay. Oh, looky there. <laughs> it came off so nicely. Ah. The, the paper's hot. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I did not um ooh. I did not think this through. So, okay, no, no, no. I gotta flip it over the other way because we've got to do the other side. Maybe this is why some of my stuff all curves the wrong way. Ah! 1920. And I, I can see it um, through the wax paper. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I lost a bead. 
Okay, put you back down. Put you back down. Ah! <laughs> sure, I have a hole in my trunk. <gasps> and I got a hole <laughs> in my trunk. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. So, anyways. Okay. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> Everything's just like all the switches are lit and the lights are going like crazy, but nothing's really happening. So, I'm going to try my best. I'll be back. down with my phone to make it lay flat because they kept wanting to curve like like this one this one's a, a little it's a little wonky but it's still lid so it doesn't matter and I can take a glue gun and glue this piece in there and that's so cool this is This is the first time I've done this, and I'm a little bit, so I feel pretty good. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, ah! Now, now, the assembly time. Okay, I think everything's very much a mess out of this shit. Okay, there's that. Okay, so it's one, two, Three is this one. Oh shit. Um, this is three. Is that the bottom? Okay. Four, five, four, six. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my god! So this piece right here, see that times two? I gotta make one more. <laughs>
Okay, I think Egg. I got this now. So we've got that's one and two. There's four and four. This one goes right here. Right, this one goes right here. <gasps> Maybe? <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I got backwards. Okay. That way. <gasps> okay. Um, this one's five. Five goes on. The front. Oh my god! <laughs> and six. Six goes on the back. This way. Oh my god, look at that! Wait, no, 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 no. Goes this way. It's like a little puzzle box. <laughs> hey! What happened there? Number five, you're missing. How? Okay, you know what? I, I don't know how I did it. I, I missed a few, um, yeah, there's a few squares missing. <gasps> that is adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. That's... I gotta make some more. I gotta make some more now. I'm gonna fill up my little treasure chest. <laughs> Too cool. Too cool. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you next week.